Fox 5 has a look at the evidence used to convince a grand jury to indict a Henderson man on a murder charge. Police believe that he was the mastermind behind the crime and now believe that they can prove it. Despite the long-held belief that a deceased gang member named Orlando Anderson was the man who shot rapper Tupac Shakur in 1996, leading to his death, information from a Clark County grand jury transcript says otherwise, and bad boy founder Diddy is at the thick of it all. The zipper came and picked me up. We rolling up Greenleaf in our neighborhood, and his phone ring, boom, and it, it, it was puff. Like, you think it's cool to come out here and do concerts? According to documents obtained by media outlets, a man affiliated with the Southside Compton Crips, Devontae Lee, says it was another Southside Crip, DeAndre Big Dree Smith, who pulled the trigger and that allegedly all of them were working under the instructions of Diddy. Reportedly, Anderson and Smith were in a white Cadillac with Terrence Brown and Dwayne Keith Keffy D. Davis the night of the shooting, September 7, 1996. It's not refuted that the white Cadillac pulled up to a BMW driven by Suge Knight with Tupac in the passenger seat, but conventional wisdom has long been that Anderson shot into the BMW. In his statements to a grand jury over the indictment of Davis and the murder plot, Lee says it was Smith who fired the shots. When appearing before the grand jury, Lee was asked if it was true that Smith told him that Davis passed a gun to Anderson. That's exactly what he told me, Lee said, according to the transcript. As the Cadillac approached the BMW, however, Lee indicated that Anderson didn't have a clear shot at Tupac, so Smith offered to take the gun. Dre said, he's on my side, basically I'll do it, Lee said. Dre said, give me the pistol. Lee indicated that the shooting was in retaliation for a fight that happened earlier at the MGM Grand Hotel in Las Vegas. In that altercation, members of Tupac's crew and security team punched and kicked Anderson in the lobby of the hotel. Little did any know that it is this incident that would ultimately lead to the retaliation shooting and death of Tupac Shakur, said Metro Homicide Investigator Jason Johansson during a news conference last month. Back then, according to the transcript, members of the mob Piru Street Gang, which was affiliated with the Bloods, worked security for Death Row Records. The gang didn't get along with its Southern California rivals, the South Side Crips. According to investigators, it was Davis who orchestrated the plan to go after Tupac following the Anderson fight. Davis, who was arrested late last month, is scheduled to be arraigned in a Clark County courtroom on Wednesday. He has been charged with open murder over the Tupac murder. Keith D is the only suspect in the case who is still alive, and he has said in his memoir that he is only one of two living witnesses to the killing. My name is Jason Johansson, and I'm the homicide lieutenant with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. And my goal here today is to walk you through our investigation and what led us to the indictment of Dwayne Davis, also known as Keefe D. Over the last five years, we've conducted countless interviews and corroborated numerous facts that were not only consistent with the crime scene on the night of the incident, but also corroborated and were consistent with the sequence of